Voilà. Okay, I'm going to read another piece from, uh, I should say, another segment from my piece in the uh, Polyglot Project. This is called a, a Latinist Manifesto. I haven't written a, an Arabist Manifesto so far, so I don't know which is going to prove the most controversial, an Arabist Manifesto or a Latinist Manifesto. But anyways, this is my uh, Latinist Manifesto, or 10 reasons why you may wish to make Latin the first language of choice for you and your children. Number one, Latin is the language that best represents Europeanness and the best vehicle of pan-European sentiment. This is because for some 2,000 years, Europeans of diverse nationalities were either educated in Latin or learned it as a chief subject in school. Latin was the language of the Hungarian courts even into the 19th century, although Hungarian is not even an Indo-European language. The heritage is clearly not limited to English and the Romance languages. Latin influence can be found in the Germanic group and even in the Slavic group. Number two, during the Renaissance period, men like Erasmus not only become, became extremely fluent in Latin, they became masters of style. And yet it was not their native language. Indeed, there were no, no more native speakers. Latin had survived its own funeral. And precisely because Latin was nobody's native language, all users were at least potentially equal. Among the learned, at least, Latin was a language of equal linguistic rights. For this reason also, it should be resurrected. Number three, there is evidence that Latin stimulates mental agility. It is an excellent introduction to the way languages work. A Latin scholar confronted with the case system of the Slavic languages should, for instance, have no trouble understanding what is going on. Number four. Well, I, I think I read enough for this. So we'll stop there.